All right, next is uh, number 34 on your list. This is Acer Campestri. Common name of uh, this maple is hedge maple. I really, for the life of me, I can't, I can't understand why it gets the name hedge maple. Perhaps in other countries it's used more as a hedge and is, is pruned as a hedge. But uh, as you can see, I'm, I'm standing underneath a uh, line of about uh, six hedge maples, and they're not hedge-like at all. They're just quite large uh, shade trees, okay? So hedge maple, like our other maples, it, it, they are uh, oppositely arranged. The leaves of hedge maple are, are fairly small. They're only going to be uh, a couple to three inches wide uh, by tall. Okay? Not a ton of pubescence on, on uh, hedge maple. And it has the typical maple looking leaf, except for all of the um, lobes are going to be quite rounded. Okay? Uh, if you encounter another species, don't want to confuse you, but if you encounter another species, we're not going to learn this term, Acer miabii. Uh, it can be a little challenging to tell them apart based on leaf morphology, but Acer campestri will be quite unique among the maples uh, that will learn this term based on its leaf morphology of being much smaller than the others and the lobes quite rounded. Another good ID feature for Acer campestri is the fact that the, uh, um, the Samaras are attached again into a schizocarp, which is unique to maples, um, but they're attached basically at 180 degrees, so they form essentially a single line going across. Acer campestri is not one of those maples that we've um, really paid a lot of attention to as far as its invasiveness, and that's probably because it's not been planted in the numbers of things like Acer uh, platinoides, our Norway maple. However, underneath this tree, it produces thousands and thousands and thousands, uh, perhaps even millions of seed in this line of, of trees. And underneath this line here, uh, there are, are many hundreds of seedlings coming up. So I think it's, uh, it, you know, it has the potential to be somewhat weedy in the garden, but then again, many of our maples do. But anyway, uh, it's a great tree. Um, we're starting to see more of it planted here in the Pacific Northwest, so uh, I, I, uh, I, I endorse Acer Campestri.